Hey guys, welcome to Feature Junkie. My name's Ed, and today we're going to be checking out the new movie, No Hard Feelings, directed by Gene Stupinski, starring Jennifer Lawrence, Andrew Feldman, Matthew Brodowick, and Laura Benanti. So I've been so excited to see this movie. I've been seeing the trailers everywhere, and I've got so much to say about this film. But before I get into it, if you could leave a like down below, I'd greatly appreciate that. Now let's get into the plot courtesy of IMDb. Maddie thinks she found the answer to her financial troubles when she discovers an intriguing job listing. Wealthy helicopter parents looking for someone to date their introverted 19 year old son Percy and bring him out of his shell before he leaves to college. But awkward Percy proves to be more of a challenge than she expected and time is running out before she loses it all. So I was so excited to see this film and overall I did enjoy the film. There was a few moments where I laughed out loud, a few chuckle moments, but overall it was just a charming film. Definitely a rated R film. Jennifer Lawrence um, at the beach was not expected and uh... Yeah, she gained a new fan in me for sure. And I'm not gonna spoil that scene, but overall her performance, I thought she did an incredible job. She kind of plays that older, you know, milfy person like pretty well in this film. And you know, it's it's cool to see her transition um, in her acting career from like the younger actor to now in these more adult type of roles. I think that age gap, you know, plays into their favor with their on-screen chemistry. And as much as I like Jennifer Lawrence, I felt like Andrew Bateman's character, you know, kind of stole the show for myself. I feel like I keep calling him Bateman. I'm pretty sure it's Feltman. All right, I looked it up. It's Feltman. But yeah, Andrew Feltman, I think he did a great job in this role. Super believable. I really felt like he could be this type of guy. But the irony of it all is he's a normal person. Everyone else thinks there's something wrong with him. But really, he, he's just a shy person and he knows, you know, what he should be doing what he shouldn't be doing it just takes him a little bit more time to get to that place so while everyone else is trying to solve his problems really the problems are within themselves it's a clever idea while introducing those rom-com elements into it now there are some flaws to the film and particularly with some of the jokes i know they don't mean to but i feel like you know some of the jokes just kind of insult our intelligence a little bit also towards the end when the film is kind of wrapping up and you know everyone's learned their lesson it feels a little bit rushed and i wish they would have just spent a little bit more time in that environment just to smooth it out a little bit more but overall i thought this was a funny comedy definitely an r-rated film as well so you should probably leave your kids home for this one but absolutely had a great time watching this film i hope we can get more r-rated rom-coms kind of like this you know it's been a while since we've had r-rated rom-coms and i love movies like this because we all know it, it's super predictable some jokes land some don't but at the end of the day they leave you with a sense of like happiness leaving that theater and i feel like that's the whole point of movies regardless how, of how predictable it is as long as it's making you feel something and this one I had a great time and I left happy. But I'm curious what you guys have to say about this film. If you liked it, if you didn't, whatever your thoughts are, leave them in the comments down below. And if you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe. And I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me here today on Feature Junkie.